released 14 years ago. Think. Some of y'all have 14 year olds. Wait, some of y'all 14 years old. All we missing is the 23 logo. Aww. Hit the B roll. Cardia Jones on the soundtrack. Real quick, y'all remember the fusions they made like these? What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy Cenos. Thanks for checking me out. And We've been on a dunk spree, but I'm slowly bringing back the fire Jordan reviews. And this one here, man, it, it is near and dear to my heart. The last time we seen this sneaker was 2010, and ironically, 2010 is when I got back on the Jordan wave. If you've been, like, collecting sneakers for that long, you remember, like, the mid 2005 to like 2008 when you was able to go on any website and just get any color Jordan you want. I, I, I stopped messing with Jordan, man. But 2010, that's when the um, phone posit still was popping, but that's when the, the, the retro started retroing and Jordan took their claim to fame back. And that's the last time we seen these. But being that 2024 is the 30 year anniversary for the Jordan 9, we should see a lot more Jordans. I know right now for sure we got these and we are going to get the olives. And some people, the olives is the grail. I'm really not into the green, pine, green, brown look. But that was a dope sneaker, man. Um, I tried to tell y'all in, in my last video, but I like I, it slipped my mind, that these were going to be one of those. You still can get certain sizes, but I knew this was going to kind of sell out. This was iconic Jordan 9. It's a UNC North Carolina colorway, so you already know what that mean, man. But we don't do too much talking here at Sneaker Notes. Hit the music. Let's unbox them. Unboxing time. Yes, sir. So you know, when we get this box here, we mean business. We mean retro. Usually the Jordan 11s come in this kind of box, but I remember when this box first came out, Jordan still was playing. So a lot of the sneakers that we see now retro started with this box. So you got the Jordan uh, words there, the Jumpman logo in red, glossy black, the back, all the bells and whistles, the swoosh, the swoosh words, the Nike logo, everything's there. Um... Nike Air on the side, and it reads Air Jordan 9 Retro, Summit White, Black. Notice it doesn't say anything about the UNC or the powder blue. When you open this lid, white inside, showed y'all that already. You get that black garbage bag or wax paper look. I remember when this first started too. And let's start with the uh, right shoe. Here's a 360 view of the Jordan 9 powder blue. It's crazy that the tag reads nothing about the color in the, the whole sneaker is named after that color. But um, just look at it. This was Summit White look like, but in my opinion, it looks like clean white. Um, not an off-white, not a cell white, but it is a little brighter white. But white is usually always bright to me. Let's start with the toe box. That's the part of the nine I always hated because right here, no matter how you laced it, right here always creased up. But I could say with this retro nine, this leather is kind of hard, man. So maybe it won't crease as bad. Nice, firm leather. This is good leather, guys. And that's your toe box. White on white look. You don't really get into the specifics or the best of the sneaker. Until you hit that UNC, if you don't know, Jordan played for UNC, North Carolina, Chapel Hill. So all of his iconic sneakers is really in those college colorways. And that is some pretty powder 
blue. Looks just like the baby powder um bottle from Johnson & Johnson. That white with this blue here. Right here, you got the little baby jump man. Um, like I told you on the intro, the 23 is missing, and it's missing real bad for me. I liked that 23 because that's the original OG look, the 23 logo. Um, we even got it on the 2010 ones, but they decided not to do it here. At the top or on the side is the iconic Jordan 9 silhouette. Um, got the like holes there with some triangles or some arrows. I'll say arrows because they pointing up, but definitely triangles. And you get one, two, three, four, five of those, and they scale up in size as it go up in the sneaker. Let's get to the back. Um, I remember when this logo first came out. It looked so sexy in the baby blue colorway, but that was like the symbol of saying like um, sneakers made by the greatest player in the world. Greatest basketball player in the world. So that's why you got like a globe look with the little Jordan Jumpman there. Of course, you got the iconic pull tab. And as I was a kid, this pull tab didn't mean something. Like this was the only way I could get my sneaker around my ankle as a kid. So it really meant something. So it's more than just like aesthetics. It actually has some value and some use to it. Around that, though, you get that baby blue powder blue coming back in around the sock liner. So, like, the tongue sports like an inside shoe for the outside shoe, if y'all still with me. And um, around it, the sock liner is nice, soft, cushion material, but you do get, like, an inner sock inside the sneaker. Iconic Jordan 9 tongue has the Air Jordan logo in that baby blue. But classic black tongue, they kept the tongue classic. Same shoelaces you got in 1994, I believe. Same things, man, just black. I would have wished they powder blue the tips, but all black. Kept it OG there, and I, I kind of dig that. So besides all that, uh, powder blue on the sides, inside, and on the tongue, you do get kind of a huge Jordan Jumpman logo on the bottom. And this nine bottom was so dope. Like, that was the talk of the town when the nines first came out, the Space Jam joints. I still don't know what all that mean. I never really looked it up. But you get, like, some aging right in there. Looks like some old scriptures of cavemen were right here. But very dope, man. I'm, I'm sure there's a story behind it. If you know, hit me in the comment section below. But very dope. On the sides, you see the baby blue creeping in here. Gives you um, Jordan 11 vibes in that inside arch there where the, um, the checkerboard looking pieces in the in 11s. But here you just get some um, straight squares or rectangles. Again, no shoe tree. It's been like that for the Jordans for a while. Even the, um, the reimagined joints too. You just get some balled up tissue paper. But in the inside you do get a Nike Air logo in white. Again, like I told y'all, the inside shoe, very dope, man. But this is the left, guys. I've been showing y'all the right. Nothing's changed. The materials is A1, man. Like, not a stitching problem at all. Nowhere, man. Little creasing in the leather there, but this leather is put together. As you see where it connects there, this leather's put together, guys. Good shoe. Yes, sir. So like I told you, I meant to tell you like this was one of the ones to look out for. And it kind of confirmed to me because, you know, Finish Line does this thing where they let you get the sneaker early, secure the bag early. I forget what they call it. But the last six sneakers, Jordan releases that dropped after the reimagines. I can't remember. There's been too many. The Jordan 3 Crafts and the, uh, the Okras. And it's been a lot of duds. They gave me access to all these. Thursday and Friday, they didn't give me no kind of access to these. That kind of confirmed with me that this was going to be one of those ones. Nike.com does still have sizes. So I don't know if they got pairs, but they want to make it look like the sneaker sold out and it's more exclusive. Could be true. I mean, nines are not the most popular sneaker. But when you're talking about the powder blue UNCs, we, we on a different stratosphere there, man. Um... Even the bad that Jordan's been doing, UNC colorways through the roof. The Jordan 3s that came out, hmm, nah. 
That, that was a while ago, the UNC Jordan 3s. I was in LA, I remember, and Kobe died. Yeah, that that was 2020, and um, sold out. UNC colorways you got to look out for, man. So, yeah, this is just a quick review on the Jordan 9 Powder Blue. I don't know why they just ain't called it UNC. They kept it OG. I'm looking. There's also some words here. So I gotta I gotta really do my research on that and check this out, man. Um, I really like this shoe, man. If you look closely, also a lot of shoe tubers probably don't catch it. Around the sides, you see the blue. You see that powder blue creeping in all through the sneaker. I wish they would have went into that more and made it like a little more loud. But again, this is a retro shoe. They just tried to OG it and um it even has some kind of like old vibes to it, like old aesthetics pre-aged aesthetics so one of those ones man as i'm telling y'all retail was what 210 i think i paid 228 new york tax from sneakers app and um resale right now around the same amount the thing about them jordans that'd be 210 dollars the resellers don't be trying to lose no money on me now the jordan ones that be 190 they go for 150 160 but the ones that be 210 stay around 210 so I would say hold and to just wait, like Chic or Snipes, one of them lower brands, Dick Sporting Goods, might just do a restock because I think it still pairs out there. But if not, the resale value is right there. So each is on. Uh, get this, get this video up to 20 likes, man. I come through with a fire, how to style. You know, this is one of my favorite blues, man. We do it nice. I'm your boy Sneaker Nose. Thanks for watching, everybody. Get rich.